Hello and welcome to Joan and Ed's Deli. I'm Chef Bruce. Today we're going to make delicious, easy potato knishes. We're going to start out by boiling off three to four potatoes. We're going to dice them evenly so they cook evenly. It's going to take about 10 to 12 minutes for them. And we're going to saute up some onions to go into our potato mix. We're going to start off with a little bit of chicken fat, schmaltz. If you don't have any of that, we can use butter. We use a quarter stick of butter. We'll throw our onions in. We'll get them sauteed. Just golden brown, lightly golden brown. That's also going to take about 10 minutes. We'll keep an eye on them. Okay, great. Now that our onions are sauteed and we've taken our potatoes and we've strained them and cooled them down, we're going to mix the ingredients together. So we're going to mix our onions right in with our potatoes. And we're going to add the chicken fat. If you don't have chicken fat or can't get chicken fat, you can always use a chicken bouillon, which you can find in any supermarket. You just take two ounces of hot water and you dissolve it into there and then you just mix it right in. So we're going to go with chicken fat and we're going to go with our milk and our salt and white pepper mixture. We're going to mix it all together. Okay, now that we've mixed everything in, into the uh, into the mixture together, we're going to take it, we're going to put it on a sheet pan, we're going to let it cool down before we put it into our pastry dough. Okay, great. Now that we've cooled down our mixture and we've got it in our bowl here, we've also thawed out the puff pastry sheets. Uh, you can get them in any local supermarket uh, in the freezer section. We want to preheat our oven on 375 while we're making this right now so that by the time that we're finished here, the oven will be perfect and ready for us. So now we're going to begin. We're going to start off by taking a little bit of flour. We're going to dust our table with the flour and then we're going to lay our puff pastry sheets down. We're going to give ourselves about a quarter inch space where we're going to put the potatoes down. We'll take a nice big scoop. So we'll take about three inches high by three inches wide. Give ourselves a little bit of space. We're going to roll over and fold the ends in a little bit and then we're going to roll it again. Make sure the seam is on the bottom. That seam is going to stick when we stretch and we want to keep it even. Nice even log, stretched out, very nice. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take and cut our knishes. You can cut them at any size you want. We're going to get about six out of this. So the next step of what we're going to do is we're going to lift the knish up. We're going to pinch in the front and sides and pinch in the back and form a ball. Again, we're going to lift it up. We're going to pinch in the sides, pinch in the top, and form a ball. Pinch and ball. Now that I have them all formed, we have our egg wash. Take a couple eggs, whip them up real good, and you can add a little bit of water to it to thin it out. And we're going to take our formed knishes. We're going to lift them up and turn the top side down three quarters of the way in and put them down on our paper, okay? I've already sprayed the pan, the parchment paper, and the sheet pan. I'm gonna go again, lift it, flip it, down on the paper. You can flatten them out a little bit. It'll make them even rounder. And then we're ready to bake. 375, about 15 minutes, you wanna turn them, and then another 15, 20 minutes till they're nice and golden brown. They're gonna puff up really nice, they're gonna be delicious, they're gonna be beautiful. Okay, great, so this is what they look like when they come out of the oven. You wanna let them sit for about five minutes before you touch them. You want them nice and golden brown. You'll see they come out nice and flaky. Uh, you can also make them into cocktail size, small cocktail knishes. You wanna serve them with sour cream or some spicy mustard. And you can actually take your potato mix and add broccoli and cheese or spinach and feta, mushroom and onions, anything you decide that you have in your refrigerator, you can add to that. And you got a nice variety of different knishes.